Hello, welcome to LLO Gamers and welcome back to my Tech It tutorials and welcome back to this kind of, well, kind of extra long double bill I guess. Um, yeah, so in this one we're going to follow up from the quarries and we're going to talk about pumps and geothermal generators and all the good stuff that comes with that and get ourselves some more EU power. So the first thing we need to make is a load of tanks to put all the lava and you do that by putting glass all the way around the outside of the crafting bench like that that makes a load of tanks then we need to make the pump so to do that first you need to make a mining well which uses an iron pick the last iron gear iron all the way up either side and then a bit of redstone in the top there you have one mining well and if you put the mining well in the crafting bench and one of your tanks on top that makes the pump so uh, then we need to make the geothermal generator which uses more glass like so then you need two bits of refined iron in the bottom corners, a generator in the bottom, and two empty cells. And why isn't that working? Because that's not our refined iron. Right, so I found my refined iron. So there we go. Now it's worked. Geothermal generator. And for this we need new pipes again, but we need waterproof pipes. So I'm going to need two teleport ones. Ah, in order to do that, sorry, you get cactus green, which you get from uh, smelting cactuses. And if you stick that in the crafting bench somewhere, there we go, it makes pipe waterproof. I need a load of that. I just got a bit of cactus green and condensed a load, as I did with the glass and loads of stuff just because it makes life a lot easier so you get your waterproof and you put what pipes you want underneath it I'm going to want two waterproof teleport pipes so I'll grab those I'm going to want a load of wooden waterproof a load of cobble and some iron waterproof pipes so that's everything I need so let's get it all set up if you go into this room here, there's another place I've dug out for my geothermal stuff. I've got a load of redstone engines down already. And uh, yeah, I'm going to, this is where all my lava's going to go and the uh, generator, it's going to be my little power station. So the way I want to set this up is to uh, have a waterproof teleport pipe here which feeds into a load of waterproof cobble that are going to go along here. I'm going to have the tanks in front so as you can see the pipe is feeding into them so I'm going to do that up like that. Then we're going to have the wooden ones sucking it out of the pipes uh, and then I should be able to redirect those, yep, yeah, like so. That one doesn't want to work. Ah, oh, it's because there's no wooden pipe over it. So you do that. And then obviously I need to dig down and put my levers in. Because I don't necessarily want it on all the time. Uh, I haven't got any of them on me, but never mind. Uh, then we're going to have the iron waterproof pipes coming out here with another cobble off the front and the reason we've got the iron is just so that we're making sure it's going the right way so this is going to be to the generator so any that comes out is going to go that way any that comes out of this one we want it to go that way so that's right and that one yeah we want it to go like that so yeah that's basically the idea and then the geothermal generator will be here 
with the lava going into it. And then power is going to come out of that. So I'm going to dig under the ground and get a cable through the wall up there somewhere into my power thing. So uh, I'll see you in a minute when I've got all that done. Right, so I've got that all set up now. Got pipes going all the way along. Wooden pipes with redstone engines underneath into iron ones that I've directed so they all come along here and into the generator. I've run out of glass fibre cables and I haven't got enough good stuff from my quarry yet to uh, make any more so I've just had to use cob cables for now which is a bit of a pain. So I haven't bothered uh, covering it over again yet because, well, I'm just going to have to dig it up again. So that's ready. So what we need to do is set this waterproof teleport pipe on to receive. Yep, can receive true and then set up a new frequency. So what have I got? I've got 10. So I'm just going to go 120 for this. So now we need to get to my little volcano which is actually where I found my first lot of basalt at the beginning. Uh, put a little waypoint there because there's a nice big bit of lava coming out of it. So uh, we're going to see how much we can get from there. I mean with this amount of tanks I'm very unlikely to be able to fill it anytime soon especially from one volcano unless I'm lucky and it like goes all the way down to the bottom but who knows so right let's go to the volcano right so just as I was about to leave to go to the volcano and set up the other end I had the sudden realization that it might not actually work at the moment because it's pretty far away and I may need some of these bad boys these are world anchors and uh, in order to get the stuff to make these I uh, basically went to my uh, chest over here and got a load of the stuff out from that had come from the quarry and transmuted it to get what I needed so need to uh, put obsidian down the middle gold in all the corners and diamond in the gaps and that makes two weld anchors and uh, basically what they do is uh, they keep chunks loaded so if I put one down here near my uh, teleport pipe when I'm over at the volcano, even though it's miles away, this chunk will still be loaded, so this will work and receive it. Whereas the volcano itself, if I'm back here, it's because it's so far away, the pump won't be working to pump the lava over here. So if I set the other one of these down over by the pump, they should both always stay loaded and always stay working. And also, what's pretty handy is if you use world anchors when you log off if you're on a server uh, and the servers always running it will keep your chunks loaded even when you're not online and stuff will still be happening when you're not even logged into the game which is pretty cool uh, what the hell uh, yeah they weren't there before housewarming present for you from dude art kiss kiss um, fair enough. That is a pretty cool picture though. He looks like he's in a bit of shit there. And what the hell? It's kind of 2D Minecraft. Or Terraria. Uh, well, anyway, yeah. So, Volcano. I'll see you in a minute once I've got over there. Alright, so here I am arriving at my volcano area. As you can see, this is the, uh, basalt that I showed you at the beginning of the first video and what I used the bricks basalt bricks to make my uh, main building out of so if you come up here you've got a nice bit of lava squirting out of the top of it so this could either be really deep and have lots of lava or it could possibly not go down that far and not be that much at all but you never really know this one looks quite good seems to be quite a lot 
So I've made a little platform above it to set the pump up and a little shelter here. So if I come up here, what I've done, I found the point that looks like it's the highest bit of lava. So it's probably where the hole is that it's coming out from. <coughs> Sorry. So basically, if you have a stick a block there to the side of it, so just so you can stick the pump down, like so, then you can get rid of that. And what we're going to use to power the pump is redstone engines. So you get four of those down. And I'll power them just with redstone torches rather than switches. But I won't put them down yet until we've got everything sorted. So then I need the waterproof cobblestone pipe and the waterproof teleport pipe, like so. And then in theory, can receive false. If I change it to 120, see it's still not saying connected, which is a little bit odd. Uh, but anyway, let's give it a go, see if it works. So if I put one there and one there, that should do all four. There you go, those two have started. So. Hopefully, in a minute, we should see some lava going up through the pipe. And there we go. Our first bit of lava. So, hello. Um, there's been a bit of a gap since filming the last part of the video, because uh, I did have the ending film, but decided to redo it, because it was a bit crap, because I had problems with glitchy pipes and stuff, and it just wasn't very good. So, uh, as you can see, I've... Um, had an Enderman visit by the look of it, because he's been throwing mud everywhere, which was nice of him. If you come in here, I've got loads of lava in here now. Uh, I got hardly any of this from the volcano. Uh, there wasn't much in there at all. So I found some underground pools of lava, uh, made another pump, so I had two, and uh, got some more from there. And as you can see, it's worked pretty well. I've got quite a bit now. Um, the problems I was having with the pipes, where I had switches to turn it on and off, uh, basically every time I flipped one of the switches on, the pipes were glitching out and going invisible, and, but they didn't seem to be working properly, and I realised after a while that it wasn't just turning them invisible, it was turning them around the other way, and obviously I didn't know what was going on. So I've worked out a, uh, a good workaround. I've put redstone torches down so that the... Um, engines are always on, so the lava's always coming out of here, going through here, but so that I could still turn it on and off from going to the geothermal generator, I've put this other little double tank here as like a buffer, so it's always flowing and filling up these pipes, obviously until this is full, and that way I can just turn this one on and off to let it go into the generator, and I don't have to worry about any switches to turn these off, which is what was glitching them out. So. I'm pretty happy with that. I've worked out a good little workaround. I've uh, replaced most of the cables up here and covered it over again with the glass fibre, but I haven't quite finished. I need to make a few more, but it's looking a bit tidier. Um, all right, what else? Just going to turn the energy link back on to uh, get my quarry running again. Well, I say quarry. I've actually got two now. The first one finished. Uh, I moved it. It finished again. Oh, my mouse is spazzing out again. Uh, so n then I had two running on the opposite surface. As you can see now, they have finished as well. And I've moved them down and basically just turned the energy link on to get them started again. So once these are done, that's six quarries done already. So uh, hopefully I'll be get the resources to make a few more. 
because I mean they're very expensive to build, but they make your life so much easier. And you can see they're going they're going a lot quicker now than they were before. I'm not quite sure why, because the geothermal generator is not even on at the moment. So, but never mind. So yeah, that's about it then. Got the showed you quarries, how to make them work, how to power them. Showed you teleport pipes, various different cool stuff, and uh, taught you about pumps and geothermal generators. So I hope the video has been helpful. Um, like the video, click subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll um, see you next time. After I've bloody cleared up all this mud. God damn Enderman. Alright, see you next time.